Hey everyone, this is Mel Lara and thank you very much for joining me today. We're going to learn how to make two easy bookmarks effectively. So what you'll need to do is go to Canva. Now I do have a paid version, a pro version, but you don't need it. So we're going to go over to create a design, which is right here on the right hand side, top corner. And we are going to go down to create a new design. Now I'm going to go two inches by eight inches and then create the design. Perfect. This is all I need for the size of my bookmark. Canva already have a range of bookmarks that you can choose from and you can just chop and change some elements. I'll show you later how to manipulate those for your ends. So if we look at the left hand corner, we've got all of these icons. I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to go for pastel colors that is. And I think that one's going to be perfect. So that is just a little square. So we're going to make it larger. And what I like about that is that it looks like it's paper with watercolor on it. I'm happy with that so far. Now, oh, I just had a look at this lovely little butterfly. So we might just add that in, super easy. I'm going to go to uploads. Now, now as much as I really like the bookmark so far, I could just put some text on it and I'm good to go. And that's what I'm going to do. I just went to the T and I'm going to add in a heading. I'm just going to put the word bookworm. Let's make that two words. Let's change the actual font. Now I've downloaded all of these ones here from Fabrica. They're beautiful designs, beautiful fonts, beautiful designs, all sorts of things. But I find that at the moment the text is, although I like it, it's just too far apart. There's an easy fix to that. So all I do is I go up to this little icon here called spacing, click on it, and then I'm going to go to line spacing and move it closer together. While I've got it selected, I'm going to make it a lighter color. So I might even choose one that they've already pre-done for me. So just like that, I've got bookworm. I could use the uh, butterfly there if I want or put a worm. So that is my very first bookmark. And look, if you're teaching students how to do this or you want to do this, this is how easy it gets. Now I'm going to make a second bookmark and I'm going to go to add page. It's a blank canvas again, or if I wanted to, I could duplicate this again and just go duplicate and get rid of the font, get rid of the background if I wanted, keep the butterfly, get rid of the butterfly by deleting it and then putting something new in there. Like, let's say I want to put in a beautiful flower. And of course, Canva has some beautiful flowers here. You can make them really, really large. And they can fit quite nicely across there if you like. I might put sprinkles just to see what they've got. Sprinkles are very, very nice. Let's just use those sprinkles. Maybe they work, maybe they don't. Let's have a look. And then I might go up to position. So I'll move that over so you can see. Um, select. I've got rid of my background. So I'm going to select the top part. And then I'm going to make it position so I'll go backwards so it's behind the roses now so I'm quite happy with that I've got bookworm I've got this one and maybe I'll just grab one from templates and all you do is you whip over to templates and you put bookmark and all of these beautiful um, designs come through just like this so you can pick one that is more you this one's actually really cool I very I like this one so this is totally made already and as you can see they're standalone little pictures so I might change those up just a bit because you will need to do that if you're going to sell these on something like Etsy or something you need to change them up I do like the background but I might change it just a tad and make it something slightly different even that's quite quite neat all right so there you go I've got my three bookmarks that I'm happy with another thing I need to tell you is if I wanted to upload a photo of a friend a family member who I'm going to give these bookmarks to it's really easy to do so all you do is you go to upload you go to upload file and then you find the file of your loved one and then what it will do is it will land in these boxes here once you've chosen them and then you tap on them and then they click in here just as simple as that let's go and look how to print these out so all you do is you go to share then you go to downloads okay so download as I'm going to go PNG because we're going to put it on an A4 sheet so that I can print these out you can print just as they are problem is depending on how your printers are set up it might just take the 
you know a good half page so we don't want that let's go and download all of these as they are as png files now i'm going to go back to home which is right here and then i am going to go to create a design we're going to go to a4 document or us letter whatever suits you they're almost the same size and now i'm going to go to my downloads and find those three files upload files i'm going to find them and download it's called bookworm now all three of these I'm popping in. You can drag them straight onto your canvas and it will work just like that. And I'm going to align them so that for easy cutting out. So all I need to do is print these as a PDF and I'll show you how to do that. Go to share and then you go to downloads and then you'll go to print standard or print PDF print for very good printing. So I might just go standard for old times sake. It's for emailing, but you know, it still works pretty well. So I'm gonna download, it's going to my downloads and then I'm going to open and print those out. So let's have a look. Here they are as a PDF. Now I'm going to print. <laughs> right, print. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's what they look like. And all I need to do is print them off and laminate them. I've got two others that I did earlier, and here they are. Hope you enjoyed this video. Get creating.